Hello, Aroha Media welcomes you to one more useful tutorial. You know, we are able to tell Flash to play a movie clip without placing it on the timeline. That's right, and it only takes a few lines of action script. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use action script to load a movie clip from another Flash file library. Let's get started. Out of the two, in the first file, we will create the movie clip animation. Start by creating a new Flash document. In this, we are using the default document size. You can modify it as per your needs. Name the layer as object. This is the layer where we will work on the animation. Draw a circle and press F8 to convert it into a movie clip. Let's create a simple animation for this circle. The main thing we will focus on is the action script. Test the file and save it as animation. You can think of your own animation if you want to experiment. Again, hit Ctrl plus Enter to export the SWF of animation name. This SWF can be found on the same path where the actual flash file is saved. This SWF will be called in another flash file. So, take another new file in flash with action script 3.0. Save this file too at the same location where the previous animation file is located. Name this file load underscore movie. Currently, this file is totally blank. To load the previous animation, the first thing we need here is a container. Name the layer as container. Insert a new empty movie clip and name it container. This movie clip is directly created in the documents library. So, open the library by Ctrl plus L and Place that container movie clip on stage. This movie clip is completely empty, so you will just notice its registration point. For both the flash files, we use the default document size, which is the same for both. Now to call that circle animation at the same placement where it is placed in its own file, we will have to place this empty movie clip registration point at zero axis. That means, for that container, the movie clip's X and Y position should be zero. So let's do it. Select this movie clip and put X equal to zero, Y equal to zero. You can see its position now. Give it an instance name as well, as this movie clip plays a role of the container, which we will need in action script. Give the instance name as container underscore MC. Add a new layer for the action script. Name it actions and press F9 on its frame for the action panel. Now the first thing we need is the loader on which the external content will load and display. So get a variable for it. Variable LDR will be the loader. Next thing we will need is the URL of the SWF file we need to display. Action script file and the SWF file is on the same folder path. So, for here, we will only put the file name of the animation along with its extension. Add a variable for the URL and put the file name here, animation.swf. One last variable we need here is of the URL request. This URL request sends a request to load that file on the given URL path. In brackets, assign the URL value on which the URL request will be sent. Now, let's add a last action script for the loader, where the actual request URL request will be sent to call the SWF file on the above given URL path. So what all we added is 1. 
a loader which loads the data from a URL to a URL where the actual file is located and three a URL request this prepares or sends a request to the URL to load and here a script for the above loader to play the animation dot SWF through the URL after URL request is sent hope you understood the connection between all these variables and the script this animation will be placed inside the container movie clip so add a script for it add child will assign loaders value to this container underscore MC in order to display an object on the screen we need to use the add child method our scripting part is done let's test the movie control plus enter circle animation from the animation file is playing in the load underscore movie action script file this output is viewed only when the SWF is published this circle animation is also playing at the same placement as in its original file. Save your file. Now for a change, let's see what happens if we vary the position of the container movie clip on the stage. X equal to 250, Y equal to 250. Of course, you'll notice the position of the container changes and according to that, you will also get the circle animation position changed. Using this technique, you can place your animation at any position. We are finished with this tutorial. But there are several reasons and uses to load external SWF files. For example, multiple files can be combined in one single file even if they are handled on separate FLA files. A heavy project can be divided into multiple files and one individual SWF file can bring it together as an SWF file loads faster. Thank you for watching this tutorial.